uh, go to this URL, you'll be able to follow along if you log in with the username that's on your handout. So you need to add a number. Uh, and please do not use Internet Explorer. So what, what I'm going to do is uh, walk you along the named entity attestation tool. Uh, some of you have already seen it in Parrot. And it is the tool that we will use to train the named entity system. So uh, the, the presentation I just gave with all the very tough decisions, you can use that to train the named entity system. And if you then run it on your OCR, it learns from what you put in. So if you say, I, I want to tag Prince William as one named entity, it will find Prince William as a named entity. If you only say, I want William as a named entity, it will find William. Um, currently, the system only supports Dutch and German, um, and we will also add a function for Latvian. Um, but uh, this is uh, yeah, I do have to say I'm not the, the programmer. That would be Clemens. <laughs> but French is French is But the French will not be using this tool. No, we will be using a different. Yeah. yeah. So now this is a tool that's been made by colleagues of ours in a previous pro uh, project called Impact. And, um, sorry, yeah? Anyway, we intend to merge with the re requirements of this kind of tool to, okay. to adapt to the French okay. uh, to, to this tool. Yeah. This oh, okay. is very, very important. Yeah, yeah. The training is very important. Uh, and for the, the frame of Impact, we yeah. want to merge very much okay. with Let's get to here. Yes. So I will be uh, I will be I will be going out of the PowerPoint now and to the actual tool. So if you go to the to the URL that was that's on your handout, this is where you end up. So you, as you can see, it's now only in Dutch and German. So well, Dutch is my native tongue, so I'm gonna select that. And you type in your test username. Uh, the people who will be actually using this in the end will, of course, get a proper login. But for now, this is only uh, for the workshop. If you uh, click this box, it's, it's possible to export the data to input it again into the software, but that's not necessary at this time. So, okay. So this is where you end up, and um, well, you can see in the handout there's a there's an overview. The, um, the this is the text. So this is the article that we are tagging, and as you can see, it's quite a long article with probably some table in there because the OCR is a bit messed up. Um, so this is the one that we'll be concentrating on. <coughs> And um, here you can see this is the name of the, of the article, so if I ever need it, I can also look up the actual, um, the actual image. Um, here is the menu, so you can go to a previous one, the next one, save this one, or close it. Um, these are the current named entities that are pre-tagged, so it only find, found England and Ireland. Um, but as you can see here, you say Antwerp, um, uh, the, Mr. A van As, uh, those are all named entities that we still have to tag. And I'll show you one page that I've already done. To show you what it looks like. It doesn't like that. <laughs> Maybe it only works when I'm in test two or one. You've got a connection working? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you will get 
some more and cross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In the, in the lemmas, but we will just start hacking this one <coughs> and uh, you will get an idea of, uh, of what it will look like. So in the handout you can see that we will be tagging three entities, so person, location and organization. Um, the persons are yellow, so let's find the person. Here. So you have Cardinal Antonelli. Again, you have the question, do you want to tag Cardinal along with his name or not? So let's now decide to, to not to. I simply click on it and a menu opens. So I can say person, organization, location or not known. I will get back to, uh, yeah, you, you use not known when you know that it is an entity but you're not sure which type it is. So you tag it as not known and at the end you can get a list of all the Gnomes and discuss it with your colleague to decide whether or not so, which you want to tag it. But for now we will tag uh, Antonelli as a person. So just click on it, it becomes yellow. Can I ask you just yeah. a thing? Yeah, uh, I have also a list here in the list about any types. So how come that's different for you? Why do you have a bit? Uh, German. Yeah, I see. Oh, you're the German, German one. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. oh, you have some different uh, categories, really, per language. I, I do say that I don't know because I've, I've only worked in the Dutch okay. one, but I think maybe but that's, some, maybe that's something okay. Clemens did then. All right. Yeah, so you can basically configure for that system somehow the categories. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah, and also because um, the pre tagging also changes. Ah. So. Um, for the Dutch one, see here, this is government, which is pre-tagged. So um, the system has been taught that government is something that it should pre-tag. Mm -hmm. um, it's been done by, uh, by the Institute of Dutch Lexicology. Okay. They make those decisions. And you said a pre-tag, so, but the text itself is just as it uh, comes from OCR, right? So yes. nothing has been corrected. So what you do about, uh, uh, say, well, with our errors, because uh, I have some instance here where I can, can see that it, it, it must have been like Germany, for instance, right? Yeah. But it's uh, typos. Or yeah, yeah. So, so would you pick that? Um, it depends on the wrong? amount of errors. If you if it's a ta if it's one error, so one character that's been re misreplaced, you can tag it and then indicate that there is a, an OCR error by clicking ah, S. Okay. So see, if I, I've now clicked S and a little red cross appeared. Ah, okay, that's good. Cool. So it now indicates like, okay, this is an intensity, but there is no CR error, but you only do that for small errors like, um, mm. yeah, Rotterdam, which is recognized as Rotterdam. So okay, one so letter difference. Okay. Um, so when I want to tag a location, so we have England, we basically do the same. Location, location. Location. As you can see here, the, um, the commas are included in the name entity, which is actually something you don't want. Uh, this is still something that we're working on, but we have now um, we implement or we can export it and then remove all the punctuation marks to actually end up with only the named entity and not the uh, the commas included. that it's pre-tagged, but um, uh, depending on um, the, the model that's been implemented, you get more or less tags, and the model we now have implemented is, uh, has very little tags, but the one that we've previously used had more. So this is, we need to update that to have more, yeah, because it's, it's a lot of work to start tagging everything, and you will miss it, and... Yeah, but in the end, this is, this is only used as input for the software, so it's not the idea that we start tagging our whole collection uh, in this way. 
Um, um, okay. So another option to tag it is um, by dragging. So let me see if I. Okay, so here you have King Leopold of Belgium. So let's say we say King Leopold of Belgium as a whole is a is a person. So I can simply drag over his name and nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and King Leopold of Belgium is tagged as one. So you can see that the little ones here indicate that they belong together. Um, as you saw that by dragging it. Um, it automatically became a person, um, which might not be something that you want. So um, you can also use uh, your keys to tag something else. So let's find something. Ah, so here the New York Times, which is an organization. So for organization, I would hold in the O key. Well, dragging, and it's now tagged it as an organization. So you see the twos. It's been uh, it's, they are linked now, and uh, they are now an organization. <coughs> I can st I can also do that while just clicking. So New Jersey is a location. <coughs> Something I also noticed that if you click on something that has in fact already, it unmarks it, or unpacks it, and it jumps somewhere else to the next element, so you don't actually know what you just did. I know. And it's it's, it's maybe something to. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, have I, know, I, I find it very annoying. Yeah, yeah Because okay. it, it also, if you see, if you tag here Washington, you don't get the. So you go down, and then you click it, and then it moves up again. But if I now say, um, so I hold in the L key and click New Jersey, and it gets automatically tagged as a location. So you can either use the menu or your keyboard. Um, yeah, as you said, clicking on it removes it, so your government is now removed. You can walk through the text by using the, yeah, the brackets. So because the arrow key, as you can see, moves the attestation, which you don't want, but if you use the, the arrow or the brackets, you can go from one attestation to the next. Um, and, and again, indicating um, scan errors, you can do with, a, with an S. So here, for example, Jefferson Davis, which has an extra space, just say, so, so now you know that there is a, a scan error there, but it is still an identity, or an OCR error, I'm sorry. Um, one thing that's also really handy is actually the auto attest. So if I find, for example, Cardinal Antonelli again, so I click on it, and then I can either choose to click the car here on the top, which is an auto in Dutch. <laughs> yeah, we didn't make the tool. <laughs> or you can either click the A, so if you click the A on your computer, see, you can get an auto attest so others are going to remove this one, so we can actually show that it works. So I click Antonelli. And I click A, and then the tag here appears as well. So if you have an article which has row mentioned like 30 times, you only have to click the A, and it also attests to everything. Um, another option is the, the elliptical named entity, such as North and South America, or as the couple that we just had, um, like Bill and Susan Smith. Let me see if I can find one. Okay, so let's just randomly take three words. So I click. And then I can remove the middle one. 
so it knows. So I hold held in the E, C, and then the, the little mark appears here, so it knows that this one belongs to this one. From there, and mark it again. So you could just move around and mark the two that belong together with another E. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I think that's uh, just a folder on the 
Yeah. Yeah, so I was just wondering, does that ever happen that you only have to select like part of the world and tag that? Not really. Oh, it's always one one word, right? The, the whole thing. Yeah. Oh. I mean, okay. You mentioned that already. That sometimes here it does like uh, you know, push stop at the end uh, period. Yeah, and you do want to stop. That, that at the moment gets also detected, right? As part of the word. Yeah. I guess that's and removed so just later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but uh, it, it doesn't really happen that uh, you have like you know, German, you sometimes have a very long words, and then the only part of it would be name entity. Not really. Or it, it's either. Do you know what I mean? Is it whether yeah, that yeah, happens yeah. that you would have to select only half of the world and tag that? That was the artist's fault, why not? Yeah, but yeah. I think in this case, you would uh, probably tag the whole thing and then say that's, that's, uh, that's the other problem. Is it just out of curiosity, really? What, what kind of words are you then thinking about? Is it quite stable? Like, uh, I'm just asking, right? Uh, if you ever had that, or if that is uh, possible, because uh, yeah, I'm thinking now whether you would link this information to the unit world, right? Or, or in character that's right? Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking about when would the name density be already half of the word? Because yeah, if it's probably one page. Never, I'm just asking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's very strange, right? Uh, we, we've seen, for instance, uh, uh, you know, uh, the font change within the world. You know, okay, that's a completely different story now. You know, sometimes you have like a cool beginning and, uh, oh, sorry, a, a kind of Latin font and then a uh, cool, you know, uh, ending because they did that for, you know, yeah. in some cases, in the real world. Yeah. So, so things changing within the world. I was wondering now about also within the world and part of it can be the main ending, but probably.
Obama uh, in all my text, and then I will find also the places where Obama stands at the parts of power. And maybe uh, this would be a person, and in the few cases, you may not be a person. Uh, why would I use all this time uh, for taking it off? Um, because you can then also link it. So if you say this is Obama, then you can then check an authority file and link it to. But uh, then, then, you, then you have to know that this is the president of Obama. Yeah. And is this also a part of the, the name entity recognition to identify the Obama is the president of another Obama? And yeah. you don't do that in, in this. Yeah, I just wanted to say, I mean, it's very useful for, for uh, searching if you don't know what exactly you're searching for, right? You know, okay, just I would like to know what you know, people are, who's basically mentioned in an article, right? I don't know. And there's also, you can, you can also follow, yeah, you can also, if you have an article, you say, give me all the persons that are mentioned in this article, you get a list of all the persons. So for example, we have, um, we have digitized all our um, governmental proceedings from all the all the meetings. So we have all the, all the proceedings from the meetings and you have like um, this person saying this and this and he is from this and this uh, political party. You can uh, ask for a list of all the people saying something on that day for which political party they were in. And you have, you, um, some people have made this really nice overview of um, example um, they made this, uh, this overview of people speaking to other people. So you would say that from this political party, those people are often contradicting people from that political party. And they've all done that with named entities. So you can do more with it than just browsing and searching. It might be nice to show, actually. Let's see if I can get it.
for example, you take this text, and this is um, this is the tagger that we will be using. Uh, this is the, an English version, which is just used for presentation sake, so it's not a final version. But you just type in the text, and then you see that it finds them. So, okay, Belgrade is a location, Beograd is a location, and then or ideally you would then, uh, with the linking, recognize that Belgrade and Belgrade are the same, so that you end up in the same space. Uh, Sahara has a location, Danube has a location. Um, so this is, uh, this is what it will end up looking like, for it, with a small example. This, um, and it has missed the phenomenon thing. Phenomenon thing, yes. Thank <laughs> you. 